this doesn't really need much of a, I guess, an introduction, I guess. I mean, it kind of speaks for itself, but it's an M1400 motion computing, and it's a complete accident that this even happened. I have another computer that I had this hard drive in, and I wanted to pull it out of here because it's a 160 gig drive just going to waste in a computer I don't use anymore, and I had been messing around with Hackintosh and I had Windows 7 both on the drive and I wanted to go ahead and put you know the hard drive with Windows 7 in here to use and you know that would have been great you know and it does work but I had it set up to dual boot and it didn't boot successfully earlier when I tried to see if it would boot into this and I just kinda gave up on it and I figured I would just delete the partition with Mac OS on it um, anyway long story short I left it alone for a minute and I forgot to choose Windows as what to boot into and I came back and this is the awesomeness that happened and this is a motion computing M1400 like I said 1.1 gigahertz um, it says Intel Core Solo on here but you know that's because I guess Mac OS doesn't realize it's a Pentium M and it's got two gigabytes of DDR in it of course and I'm surprised at how well it's running um, I haven't heard of anybody being able to get 10.5 installed on one of these yet. And I'd tried before with a bunch of different distributions, and none of it worked. It's actually pretty quick. I mean, I click something and it might take a second, but it's not a bunch of weight. There's no special video kegs or drivers installed. Um, I don't have a compatible wireless card for airport in there right now. I was actually planning on putting one in here but before I shut it down and then couldn't get it to boot up again I wanted to actually make a video of this because this should give anybody hope that wants to have a very cool Mac tablet I mean I don't really know what else to say about it other than wow if I can get the video working completely for like the special effects and the open GL stuff that'd be great but it's it's bright it's crisp it's running the right resolution right now, which is by default, you know, 1024 by 768. So I mean, it's not a spectacular machine to start with, but it's a really good tablet. I've got two of them. That one, the speakers don't work in it or didn't work. Um, this one's in nicer condition, but I got both of them basically free. You know, stuff that was missing parts or needed work, but I've got a wireless USB mouse plugged up to it right now the pin I need to get working. That will be the main thing. Pop that compatible wireless card in there for airport, get this pin working. That would be great. But anyway, yeah, this is not a virtual machine or anything like that running. I mean, that I don't think would be as quick and responsive as this is, but I don't know. But this is pretty freaking awesome. I don't expect that I'll get the fingerprint reader working. Um, the Bluetooth is actually not showing up, but I had the Bluetooth turned off with Motion's um, control panel, so that's probably why it's not showing up. I guess it will probably work because it's probably through the USB, but anyway, I'm going to conclude this video now, but yeah, Motion Computing M1400 tablet. Not sure on what to call it, but I think I'm going to call it iTab. Hopefully nobody's ever already named something out there that, but yeah I'll update with progress as far as getting the pen working or anything else and yep one more quick thing to say here on another little quick video I don't know if you can see that there come on autofocus camera autofocus anyway you can't really make it out there I guess but it says core image software, so it's running core image. It's not actually, you know, unsupported like it should be with no text and an incompatible card that is definitely too old, I would think. Um, Quartz Extreme, not supported, so there's not going to be any transparency, and I'm probably not going to find a special driver for that, but it says Quartz GL, which is, you know, OpenGL and things like that, supported and working, which means things like BLC and S SM Player, or M Player for Mac, I mean all should play back fine. I should have, you know, some video acceleration and actually be able to watch YouTube videos on it and whatnot. That's really freaking awesome and I just discovered that so that's why I was making another quick little video. So once again, wow.
M1400 iTab. <laughs> awesome.